video everybody wants me to watch this. Now let me tell you what I know about Fallout 76. There was a drama with a backpack. That's literally all I know. There was some sort of an issue with a, a you know, a convert, like a weird like thing is the backpack didn't work and, you know, people didn't get it and some people did and everyone was mad. Do you want to travel to Bethesda Ruins? Okay, all right, here we go. This is great. Well, this is actually really good. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. All working at a different office. How did this happen? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. This is already really good. June 2018. Okay. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God, yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game Looks like Warhammer. My God, it was exciting. This looks like Warhammer. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The oh. press conference. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. Who gives a fuck? All new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. Who cares? Four times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Yo, I actually, I want to stop this. Sorry, we can pause champ here. Any game where the big selling point in the presentation is how good it looks... It's probably going to be a shitty game. And it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. Oh, I'm uh, serious. Think about it. November 14th, 2018. The game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. For fuck's sake, I'll see you tomorrow. But once wow. that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 76. And oh what dear the lord, they never fix the bugs. Um, and there are so many of them. Oh my god. Goodbye world, goodbye necks, goodbye body, goodbye heads, bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Wow. Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from Fallout 4. Use more than one nuke at a time, uh. server's dead. Texture's far too texturous, an all-consuming void. Aerobox 16 times the detail, guys. Can't pick up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T-pose. Four times the Frame size. Frame rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too swole, getting underneath the 16 map. 16 Times Getting the bugs. attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many enemies. Oh, kind of speaks uh, for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. Holotapes randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations are broken. Surprise! Floating objects and a traveling merchant. Just to name okay, a few. Okay, dude. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. The 100, that the 1001 glitches of Fallout 76, and it's a three hour, I need to take a piss, I'll be right back. A three fucking hour video. Make him play ESO, you fucking weirdos. Okay. Sorry about that, boys, I'm back. The video is three hours long, um, but it gets worse. Error CE348780 can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console me of operating 3. system. A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. Okay. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January That's 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. What? Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. Wait, what? <laughs> Counts. This guy had a level 78... My level 78 character was randomly deleted overnight, replaced by someone else's level 8 and 4 characters. <laughs> and they're not even going to give it back character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. That's great. Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. 
Now, many players are not thrilled with this game, and they want Bethesda to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes it is. Banned for racism. Thread locked. They have no direct outlet for their rage. <laughs> the only solution is to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. Twitter. Bethesda's other games on Steam. W what did they do? The backlash was immense. But surely level heads would prevail. The reviewers no. would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Oh dear lord, they hate it. Wow. This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roads. That was clever. Mutually assured boredom. Steer clear Almost of this country road. <laughs> Almost Virginia. hell, West Virginia. A bad idea, poorly. And the YouTube 2. community 5. That's had pretty this good. to say. It's really f***ing boring. I could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not gonna subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking- Imagine a- imagine a staff- wait, are, is this- Oh, for a second I thought he was at Beth- Bethesda. Nobody that worked at the company wanted to play their own game, but never mind. I think that's somewhere- I was thinking of another company. Mess. In short, Fallout 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? Well, it came out that development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were tight. Hey. Too tight. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A-Team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and the sc- The fuck, bro? What are you trying- what are you trying to say? What, 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 what do you mean? Dude, what was wrong with Austin? Come on, man! The scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed Who up all cares? night and I just We're finished- We're gonna need 16 times the detail. Please. Who cares? Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. That and they were trying to patch work Nobody the old cares Bethesda about that. creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. A fool. <laughs> now, Bethesda could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews in the IRA okay. players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Um, infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, potions. so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash and infinite duplication, unlimited XP, unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted and you could wall clip into the quest room. Wow, okay, And someone that was given sense. the curse of infinite invincibility. Dude, Naturally, this reminds me this of Diablo 3. Like, my, my channel, my YouTube channel, used to be completely dedicated to just find, finding bugs in D3. Really mess with other great. players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer. This just works. And a blindfold to wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wow. wasn't satisfied Well, now I know where Blizzard got the idea. No, they're a progressive company with Ooh. big ideas. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. That's right. 500 words on why you're a very no, naughty boy. No, there's and no way. And just give you your account back. This but is what I should do for people later, that get banned in my stream. News outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. This is incredible. I love it. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top-notch because otherwise okay. someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game and it would be an absolute disaster. Well, shit. Of course, okay. Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. At first, they oh. tried the usual approach. Banning oh, people who boy. had some of the best items in the game. Ban you him spent for having 700 good gear. hours just oh, to get the best forms. guns. Die, cheater. Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room. And they banned those okay. players. 
that wasn't much better because people would just start using smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level 1 account. Get all that good shit. Then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go. Bethesda then takes out this level 1 and calls it mission accomplished. Makes and sense. you've just beaten the game. There you go. Problem solved. So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy <laughs> so of the game. Bank of so they wrote bank. another email and okay. sent it out to the Smurfs. <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? Should we not hear back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. It's not known whether this approach worked. Wait a minute, so they're basically banning people and holding their accounts hostage and forcing them into unpaid labor positions for beta testing their game. That's a good idea. That's a really, that's a smart idea. Holy from shit. What I've seen, it's still possible to get into wow. the dev room. Okay. November 22nd, yeah, 2018, from this. Oh, I'm sure just a week will. after the release, the game goes on discount. From $60 to $40, to $35, to $30. You can find it for $15 on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. Also, some schools are just zip tying to other products. But to Bethesda, well, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the atomic shop, which is where the real margins are. And it inflates the poor sales figures. Okay. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 or less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. Not good. There's also oh. been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Although, what's the point of a hard so copy they're basically like when the thing is just a VHS cardboard tapes. disc telling you to redeem an online code? What? And while sales are low, Returns so they don't even give you a high. disc? You just Immediately buy a plastic release, box? people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 <laughs> is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. Oh, so they no. have all the control. Not another one of if those. If players only played the game for How a few hours, then I generally need? they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Oh, yeah, of course. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. And their response? This is so ridiculous. Shut it down, lads. No. No. No one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. Wow. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. A few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Yeah, dude! Woo! Fuck him, dude! A bit of an overreaction. No, what? No, not fake. at all. Second, it's completely the media. Normal. Wow! And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy Imagine in having terms a game of service so bad you may get not sued. be strictly legal. That, November 27th, 2018. Miglachio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Media quickly picked up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems, then they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state. Hold on, boys. Wait just one moment. Never mind, never mind. I was, thinking, I was thinking of something else. That's all. I was just thinking of something else. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Ad time. Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Okay. Oh my god. 
We must do something. Is Was anyone Fortnite? curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! What the now fuck is this? Now people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. Wait, what is this? Don't let this happen to you. Okay. Get Curiosity Street. It's a streaming platform with some of the best documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. Partial nudity, maybe if you look hard enough. But more importantly, the most arousing thing of all, knowledge. Works for your Roku. Oh, Android, no, wait, no, this, wait, is this actually an ad? Your, okay. Science, nature, history, what is, oh, This tech, is actually an ad. Society. CuriosityStream.com slash internet historian for unlimited hey. access to the world's free hey. top documentaries and non-fiction series. Use the promo code Internet Historian during the sign-up process to get the first 30 days free, then cancel any time. We're going to watch Wink. the ad. I'm but, okay. Please. We're going to take his content. I mean, We're going to at least sponsors. watch his ad. I, I bought a lifetime right, supply of toilet lot of paper thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain and the crows got it. I'm, I'm and now I'm nice back to guy. square one. Please. That's a great ad. CuriosityStream.com slash Internet Story. Ad's over. Let's rewind a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Wow. It came with a helmet, oh, box, no. map, army toys, and a oh, genuine no. West Tech canvas bag. Oh no. A duffel bag. Fast forward bag. to the release. And customers noticed that their precious okay. bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas and land, Ooh, yummy. look a bit different. Bruh. In fact, Bruh. it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. <laughs> Listen, if anybody's ever bought anything from Amazon or any of those things, right, you'll see some amazing chair. It's like, wow, this chair is awesome. It's so ornate and well put together. And you uh, you take it home and it's like this big. Right? Because you, you, never, you didn't look at the dimensions. Because you thought you got a great deal on it. I, I mean, this happens all the fucking time. I mean, it's really funny that a, a genuine real company is doing this, but this happens constantly. Do they really just advertise one thing? Yeah, it happened and with deliver my Lambo. Another? Exactly. You can't do that. So there was a surge of backlash, and people began an emailing the asking Brand. for refunds, Brand. asking for answers. By this point, customer computer, by service the way. is absolutely over it. They are on done CNN. with the facade, and they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. That's the whole email. Wait a minute. Did this happen? I feel like this is this is just this is over the top. Did this really happen? They sent this email. <laughs> Staff at Bethesda aren't Fuck even yeah, hiding dude. This is awesome. Anymore. Naturally. The internet goes wild. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. 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 Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. Okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we oh, do? Oh, boy. Well, we've got this in-game currency. Okay. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. Hey. Hear ye, hear ye. Five dollars of fake money. Two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency that you'll be able to spend with us. Wow. 500 atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your oh atoms? I'm gonna buy dude. 5 18ths of the white paint version of the power armor. Whoa! Wait, what you about can't you? even buy it Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood you can't laminate. Even buy it with <gasps> Fuck the bag! He's right! Fuck the bag! Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate. Of course, this was Bethesda's this fantasy of what would happen. Skin? What really happened is further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Almost heaven, where's Virgin it even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Wow. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. 
okay. a shortage of material, apparently. That was quickly debunked. Because it turns out they did make the canvas oh, bag. Okay. Except they gave them all out to influencers. Oh, Why dear. didn't I get one? It's not the same one, of course. But it's sourced from that ever-scarce material. Yeah, where's canvas. mine? But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. Oh! If you don the postman's outfit. Okay. Which, of course, can be found at the atom shop. Of course. For 700 atoms. Ooh, just short. Well, the bleating from the online community continues. I can guarantee you that they gave them that much money because it was right under the amount that they would need to buy anything good. And that way it would create like a, uh, I, I, what is it really like? Like, it's not even really, it's like sunk cost. They're like halfway there. Like, man, all I need to do is spend 16 more dollars that I can get this cool thing from my guy. Wow. A foot in the door. Yeah. A foot in the door. I think that, yeah, I, I don't know. Pre-purchase instead of uh couponing whatever yeah i think it's foot in the door probably it's, it's one of the it's one of the notorious and uh numerous techniques that people use to swindle you out of your fucking money you, this is and amazing as lawyers realized there would be trouble so they decided to capitulate all right Let fine them eat we'll make your precious fucking bag if you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc., etc., and we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. But it doesn't quite end there, because Bethesda is known for bugs, and of course, this will be the last pause that I make for like at least ten more seconds. Okay. There was one time my dad went to uh, he went to KFC. And what my dad likes to order at KFC is a chicken pot pie. And the kid there told my dad that it would take 81 minutes for a chicken pot pie to get ready. Two minutes later, after my dad, because my dad asked, he wanted to have a breakdown of a, you know, a 10 minute basis of like what he's going to be doing every five minutes or 10 minutes to make sure my dad gets his chicken pot pie. The manager came out. He gave my dad a bunch of fucking coupons. And like my dad was in Vietnam. Okay. Like, so he gets really like he, he gets like, there is nobody that gets more mad than my dad does. Like my, he, he just gets really, really fucking mad. And so they're giving my dad free coupons and everything. As soon as that kid told him 81 minutes, it was the funniest fucking thing ever, dude. The look on my dad's face. <laughs> 81 minutes for a chicken pot pie. Of course, their website is a buggy mess, too. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, okay. people can open and close and change them at will. Okay. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. Hey! Yay! <laughs> Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. Wow. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. Well, that's a smart thing to do. How they could should this have do been that. so difficult? They made one for New Vegas. Okay. One last piece of merch. A rum drink. Nuka Cola Dark. Not going to say Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. $80. Not cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. Okay. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. Uh, okay. A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. I... There's a delay. Of course. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard, Of course. Say. standard man this sounds just oh, so works. things aren't up to the usual fallout standard so we'll Familiar. have it for you soon no specific date given oh one week later nothing okay then on december 5th another email good, good news we start shipping on december 12th great it's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered just but as a show of good faith we made this promotional video for you what? And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. Right there. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle 
and a plastic it's shell. It's not the rocket. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell? People were not happy. Look at that ratio. <laughs> Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super likes. premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. Wow. I love this. This is amazing. People began cancelling their orders. I wonder why. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the fuck? We, we spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives, just a few days before okay. Christmas. Great. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside the shell. <laughs> Hard to pour because I um, don't need this damn thing. I spilled like half the shot. It's very dribbly. So you're best off opening okay, the whole dude. thing up to okay. prevent spilling. I don't if know why, that, that was actually there's funny. a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Wait, what? Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home, and the quality was about on oh, par. sorry, sorry. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far cheaper, and they actually give a shit. Not Wait. gonna lie, though, some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. Now, many That's claim so that this ridiculous. was an honest mistake. Yeah, Sorry. Or that customers were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. Mm. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. See, this is like, this is what the people do, right? is that they op they they make you think one thing and then it's like there's an obvious assumption that somebody makes whenever they see a certain type of product and they're like oh well you didn't read the fine print it's actually fucked and then suddenly you have these people that are like these super defenders of these companies these white knight defenders of these companies saying well, because you didn't read the fine print, you're stupid and you deserve to lose your money. It wasn't their fault that you can't read. <laughs> you're stupid. The company didn't do anything wrong. I read it because I'm smart and I spent $200 on this. Oh, I'm the smart one. Now think about it, dude. It's just so fucking stupid. Yeah, corporate white knights. It's just so, so fucking sad, man. It reminds me of the new WoW store mounts. Well, yeah, exactly, right? It's the same as, like, th there's a number of things that's the same as in WoW. But, yeah, you, like, WoW has that more than anybody, is you have these people that are defending the game because it's like, they, they it's like these people live in a fantasy land, all right? And if I say that whenever I spend most waking hours of my day playing video games in fantasy lands, at least sometimes I walk out of those games and I'm like, wow, this is the real world. Those other people go into the real world and they act like it's fucking Azeroth. It's Before insane. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. Okay. This raised some eyebrows and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see wow. all this activity on the Wayback Machine. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. Of course. It's also worth quickly talking of about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's, That's nice. cool. Good idea. A dog Whatever. hoodie. Fallout That's exactly 76 what I'd want. Singular. But why is he so mad? The photography is all just slightly... off. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. But does the 76 in 200... No, it says Ikea. Never mind. No, no. Okay, just a second. I wanted to make sure that wasn't actually it. It wasn't fake. But does the 76 in $276 really make it more immersive? And why did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, Probably because somebody job. misgendered her. Print. Now that's surprising. Not for Fallout. Fans. And what the fuck? 
they made the bottle properly. What? Yeah, one of those, please, but bigger and brown. Yeah. Is that so hard? Let's get back to the game. December 2018. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. The good. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. But also great. brought in field of view sliders. Amazing. Hooray. Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff great. to automatic weapons. Hooray. They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> there were also upgrades to the camp that allowed... Okay. How much, like, what do you guys think the chances are that people in that audience are paid to laugh? There are at least some people in the audience who are paid to laugh. I'm going to say like 60%. Like, it, it's not a laugh track or anything like that. It's just people that, you know, they know if they don't laugh, Todd fucking fires them. So they're laughing like their fucking life depends on it. The easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. The bad. A whole bunch of unannounced wow. stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Emo That's production great. was then decreased. Play, Fusion more. cores burnt out faster. Of course. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, oh. I'll fuck you up. And the backlash was significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. Uh, hey. And let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12. A Santa outfit for $20 blue and yellow paint for here's a point if you make an online store the real life equivalent to the item shouldn't cost less money i can buy a santa outfit for less than 20 bucks at the point that you actually have something that is not even real that is worth more than the thing that is real okay let's assume that the space marine outfit right there yeah that's probably worth like i don't know maybe 23 dollars but a Santa outfit? Give me a fucking break. But eighteen dollars. Oh look, CSGO three nines are different the because they're determined by the market value. Swax item imported different. from Fallout 4. But the biggest defense of all was the holiday emote bundle. Twenty-four dollars for some Christmas-themed emotes. Twice Five the head, price a six of head. these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. Yeah. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices, too. Oh, look, it's but marked down half price. Off. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially jacking up the price, only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency. Hey, does anybody want to buy the Dreadwake? You Here get in six Australia, months at wow. least in Canada and in the EU. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price okay it's been about 25 minutes of whining now so i'm just going to leave it here i didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco the new camera item that lets you teleport dwindling player numbers but on the flip side they're also adding new content and improving the game over time that's nice heck no man's sky was a surprising comeback so maybe bethesda can do it too hey but for now, Todd returns to cryostasis, hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling, and returning only when it's time to, make to get our money. hopes up once again. Okay. CuriosityStream.com slash internet historian. 
Okay. Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Really? Rapist, if you will. So I'm going to say all these names for you from the credits as fast as I possibly can in time with the scrolling. Here we go, one take. Just deal, Miles Millican, Justin Rowling, Owen with Steve Rizzo, Drudders, this sounds Indigo familiar. Zero, Luke Hackle, Astatine 210, oh, fuck. Jordan Prince. Uh, Just a second, let me go ahead and read this up. Fiscus, HVD, uh, Cithero, Dr. Doom, Baron, Zedox, Venture, 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 you know, honestly, like going into it, it's like a Fallout video. I, I thought to myself, I really don't give a fuck about Fallout. But I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll try it, right? And uh, I'll see what the video is. A lot of people think it's great. So why not? Uh, honestly, the video was really, really well done, okay? We're going to give this uh, We're gonna give this one of those things, okay? We're going to give that a hand. Uh, give us an update for Classic. Uh, yeah, it's going to be out next weekend. Uh, so uh, just go ahead and take the day off of work and uh, you'll be ready. Yeah, uh, let me scroll this over. Okay, yeah, this... So the video obviously was really good, okay? Let me just get that out of the way. The video was really, really well put together. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. I, I think that it was awesome. I was very happy about watching it, and I, I'm, I'm very impressed about it, okay?